Hello and welcome to the video today. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different. It's literally just going to be me talking. Maybe my editor will put some gameplay or whatever, or some memes or some shit in it. But um, I genuinely think I've found, or I say found, I think I've come up with a pretty good way to fix trials. And I think there is literally zero downside to this change. Um, we'll get stuck into it. But first of all, let's just explain and elaborate on the state of trials at the moment. So for the longest time, trials was one pool of players, 3v3 made the best team win. If you lose, you lose. If you win, you win. Of course, if you lose, back to the drawing board, try and improve a little bit and go again. GG go next, right? But it's 2022. People feel like they need handouts they feel this they have this false sense of entitlement that has caused all of these changes and lots of them people don't agree with but the vast majority of the community i feel have this just this false sense of entitlement that they don't need to put thousands of hours into pvp to go flawless and you know they should just be able to go which i don't agree with i think you know you should put in the time and the effort to improve but with that being said, all of that has led to this, this current state of trials where we have non-flawless pool and flawless pool. And then, so we've got two different pools of players. So we've got two pools of players for PC, non-flawless pool and flawless pool. Of course, that kicks in on Sunday daily reset time. And we have an issue here with people not playing Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because they're specifically waiting for their, their pool to be enabled so they can get a free card in. They play one card and they don't play for the rest of the weekend. Now, that's an issue because not only is it dividing the player base, it's also keeping half the weekend at a low population. But the main issue is, it's dividing half the player base. Now, the non-flawless pool is very casual. I play in it a lot because I feel like it's a better business decision for myself. It allows me to focus on my chat. Um, plenty of other reasons, but that's not important. Now, in the non-flawless pool, the player pool is even lower. It's significantly easier to stream snipe, which a lot of streamers um, suffer with every weekend. There's not a lot that's getting done about that. It's very frustrating. Queue times are significantly longer than they should be. You can sometimes spend 10 minutes in a game, uh, in orbit, sorry, waiting for a game. The connections are generally worse, quite simply because the player pool is so small, you're matching people from all over the world, other than your next door neighbors. So you've got those issues. Is that it? Matchmaking time, uh, match queue times, um, sweatier games, risk of being stream sniped. Oh yeah, you, you tend to play the same teams frequently because again, the play pool is so low. Now, the reason why these pools got introduced was so that the casual players had a decent chance at getting their flawless loot so they didn't miss out. So they get their one card a week in the non-flawless pool, which is easier for them. They get their loot and then they don't play for the rest of the weekend. Now. What I'm proposing is not going to change that principle for the casual players, but will benefit the entire player population and eliminate all the problems that I've listed about Flawless Ball. So, at the moment we have a Passage of Mercy, Passage of Ferocity, um, Passage of Confidence, Passage of Wealth. We've got all these different passages that have different... Um, different they give you different abilities right or they give you different options per se i think that we should put both pools back together so there's one pool of players which benefits the minority which is the the high-end pv the high-end the more skilled pvp players it benefits them because it gives them a larger player pool so their games are generally easier quicker matchmaking is less they're not going to get stream sniped more but with one pool of players introduce a new passage called the passage of certainty and what is this you may say so this passage of certainty requires you to get seven wins throughout the weekend from friday to tuesday you need seven wins regardless of how many losses you take and you either get to go to the lighthouse and claim your loot or you get the adept weapon for that week so you just you don't get to go to the lighthouse you get the adept weapon for that week but once you use that card you can't use it again now you could make this card more expensive than the rest that would make sense but one use per weekend so the casual players still get if anything they get a more guaranteed method of getting their flawless loot specifically the adept weapon now you don't get the golf balls the enhancement prisms you don't get the the emblems um what else is available in the chest you don't get all of that but 
they get their one, I would say, more guaranteed card for their loot per week. And if they want to then try a different card, like a Mercy or a Wealth or a Confidence, they get to go for that. So they're still getting what they want, which is the option, you know, an, an easier way to play, a guaranteed way of getting their loot. And everybody else is in one pool. Matchmaking time is going to be quicker. You're going to get stream snipe less. The connections are going to be better. And generally, trials will just thrive like it used to. I think that's a very simple fix. So I tweeted this out yesterday. And I put, instead of two separate pools, why don't you introduce something like a passage of certainty in which players can purchase once per weekend, so one card completion, and will allow a lighthouse visit without the need of seven wins in a row, just seven wins total. I then went on and elaborated a little bit more in the thread because I know people would ask questions. But so far, this has had 413 comments, 522 retweets, 4,269 likes, and if my editor has got enough effort in him, <laughs> maybe he could chuck some of the quotations up. So everybody who is quoting this tweet is saying I would literally play every weekend. I think the craziest thing about these replies is, okay, we'll ignore that one. That's, this is somebody saying that free loot will kill the trials population. I mean, I think this this is a solution that meets both both criteria. So casuals get the loot, hardcore players get their, you know, their easy games per se. But yeah, like I'm flicking through these. This might actually get me to go out and play trials again. Um, I like this. Great idea here, tagging the devs. Currently, I only play trials when freelance is on. With, that, with this specific card available, I can see myself playing almost every weekend. Great idea. I love seeing my idea from two years ago circulate. Glad folks are coming around. Okay, so other people have obviously thought of this. Not going to lie, I actually really like this idea for more than the current... I actually really like this idea far more than the current flawless pool setup. I really dig this idea. This is a really solid idea, actually. I mean, there's a, a very large amount of people that play this game. And that is only, of course, a very small portion of people who have obviously seen my tweet on social media. But if anybody from Bungie is watching this, this is completely constructive. Completely constructive. Like, I'm, I'm not talking any smack. I genuinely think... This is a win-win. I don't see any downside here. But let me know. What do you guys think? What do you guys... Do you think it's a good idea? Do you have anything on top of that that you think we should... Do you want to add anything to that idea that you think would make it better? Is there anything about it that you don't agree with? Let me know, let me know down in the comments, please. And if anyone from Bungie is watching this and you want to reach out to me and talk about it, I mean, I'm all ears. Because I just want what is best for the game mode. I keep thinking about those, those week one or day one numbers on Burnout and it just blows my mind that it's dropped down to, you know, such a small amount of players every weekend. And I just want to see it thrive, man. That's all it is. But yeah, that's all I got to say. But um, uh, if you want to talk to me about this, um, I, I stream on Twitch Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Fridays, I mess about with some friends. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm in trials trying to get you all flawless that is what i do my, the link to my twitch will be in the description but yeah um thank you for making it this far thank you for listening and uh i'll catch you in the next one